19 verse 4, this is what Christ said. Matthew 19 verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, If you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. He that made them from the beginning, Christ says, made them male and female. And said, for this cause, and said for this cause, meaning for this reason, shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife. Shall a man leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. What does that mean? What does he really mean by that? He don't mean, where your husband at? My husband, my baby daddy, he lived down yonder, and I, and I live over here with my mama. All that's out of order. That is out of order. Read that verse again so they understand. Verse 5. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother. Your man that you intend to marry is to leave his father and his mother. And shall cleave to his wife. He shall cleave to his wife, meaning take you as a wife. But no, that don't happen in the black community. Where's your baby daddy, sister? I don't know. He died at his mama's house. Where you live, sister? I live in my daddy's house. That's why our community's all messed up. We want salvation. We want repentance. We want change. We must change as a people. We must do what this Bible says. Everything this Bible says for deliverance. Now give me Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 41 and verse 9 about women that have babies living in their parents' house. What does the Bible say about that? Yes. Thank you. Ecclesiastes 42 and verse... Start at verse 9. Listen good. The father walk for... No, the father waketh. The father waketh for the daughter. When no man know. The father wakes for the daughter when no man knows. What does that mean? That when a father has a daughter, he's to have diligent care over her. To make sure she's not committing adultery or whoremongering. Come on. And the care for her take away sleep. The care for a daughter takes away sleep from a father, the Bible says. Come on. And when she and when she is young. And when she is young. Lest she pass away the flower of her age. What is the flower of her age that she's not supposed to pass away? Her virginity. A father has to make sure a young girl does not lose her virginity at a young age. Come on. And being married. And being married. Lest she should be hated. Lest being married, lest she should be hated. When does a man hate his wife? When he finds out she's not a virgin. When she's not a virgin, when he realizes that the wife he wants to marry is a whore. She's had sex with 13 men and still counts. Come on. And have virginity. Don't worry, we're getting on the man too in a moment. But right now we're dealing with the wicked and evil black woman. Come on. And have virginity, lest she should be before and gotten with child in her father's house. Did you hear what the Bible says? Read that part again. And have virginity. In her virginity, lest she should be defiled. Lest she should be defiled and gotten with child and gotten with a child in her father's house. In her father's house. So the Bible says, God says a woman is defiled when she has a child still living in her father's house. But does the black community, do we as a people acknowledge anything God says? No, it's like uplifting. You got a baby? Look, little Jojo, Jocelyn, she's 50, she just had a baby. Let's have a baby shower. Right. <laughs> oh no, oh no, 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 no. No. <clears throat> See, these American ideals you hold on to is going to get you killed. You hold on to the Constitution ideals, it's going to get you black women killed out here. Because Christ died on the cross for us to repent as the Israelites. You understand that, sister? We must repent as the Israelites. Women must come out of the tight pants, revealing their shapes, showing their bodies, getting the wrong men in all the wrong places. You gotta change your ways, you black women. And you black men, too. You black men must become more than you are. Let's get on the man now. Oh. Give me Titus, chapter two. Let's get on the man right now. Yeah. You see, you know the little, the little gaggle of women right here, cackling like the hens they were. We getting on the women, they upset. The Bible gets on everybody, men, women, and children of you Israelites, because you black men and black women, you're the Israelites. God talks about us like you wouldn't believe. 
He called us dumber than an ox and an ass in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Ain't no use getting offended, getting mad with your lips stuck out. Just accept it and repent. That's all we can do. Titus, what you want, brother? You here again? Step over there. Do me a favor. Go have a seat over there, okay? Thank you. You got the Mexican, our Mexican brother. He's drunk as a skunk. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Why do our people get drunk like this? Hey, look, grown men hanging on the corner, no life. We don't know who we are as a people. We don't know who we are. We are the sons and daughters of God. The Israelites, the Bible speaks of. We get depressed, so we go and drink. We get depressed, so we smoke weed. We must change our ways if we want salvation. What did I say, go? Titus, uh, start at verse 2. Titus 2 and 2. Titus 2 and 2. That the aged man be sober. That the aged man be sober. What does the Bible say to the aged man? Be of sober mind. A lot of these older men, they're not sober. They're all confused, drunk out of their minds. They looking at their clock for the liquor store to open. Come on. It, that the edge men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith. We must be sound in the faith. What is the faith we are to be sound in the sight? The faith of Jesus Christ. The faith of Jesus Christ. Malachi, give the sister a flyer right there on the court. Oh, you gave her one. All praise. It's good. Thank you. Temperate, sound in faith and charity and patient, the aged woman likewise. The aged women likewise. Now God goes from the man, now he goes back to the woman again. See, the Bible instructs us how to be about The aged woman likewise. Meaning the same way the older men are supposed to be sound in the faith, Double. sober, clear-minded, it says the aged women also ought to be the same way. Come on. Did that be in behavior? Read the verse again. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as become become holiness. That the aged women behave as becomes holiness. Come on. Now that means how you speak, how you dress, how you conduct yourself. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. What is a false accuser that the, the Bible says the older women are not supposed to be? Gossipers. Gossipers, like What's that woman that get paid on BLS? Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. She get paid millions to gossip. I'm going to talk about this one and that one. They run out of town because somebody put a hit on her to kill her because of her gossip. And you know, you got young black women that call Wendy Williams for advice. But the point that I'm getting to is that she is not the woman that you young sisters ought to be looking to. That's the point I'm making. Read it again. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as become a holiness, not false accuser, not giving so much wine. Not giving to wine. What does it mean for the woman? Women shouldn't be drunks too. In my family, I'm a, I had an aunt. The woman couldn't stop drinking. She drank sun up, sun down. Fighting, punching her husband in the face. I grew up watching this foolishness. Come on. Become holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. You women are supposed to be teachers of good things. You're supposed to teach the young girls and young boys who they are, who their ancestors are. Why did we go as a, why did we as a people come to America as slaves? If you don't know the answer, get a flyer. Ask questions. That's what we're here for. Because the questions I pose to you, you're not going to learn Sunday morning in your churches. You're not going to learn them. Why is we as a people going to sleep? Any Christians out here know? Here we, brother, step back, please. Oh, Lord have mercy. Come on. That they may teach the young woman. That they may, that the older woman may what? That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. The Bible says to the Israelites, because that's who you black women and black men are, the Bible says that the older Israelite women, you're to teach the younger Israelite women how to love their husbands, how to love their children. With all the divorce out here, it's clear we have not been doing our job as a people. Marry today, divorce tomorrow. 
with all these baby daddies and baby mama drama out here, it's obvious that we as a people have failed to do what God commanded us to do.